Monday, September 4. Advice to Parents Compare Ephesians 6 verse 4 and Colossians 3.21. What motivation does Colossians 3.21 provide for avoiding irritating one's children? Ephesians 6 verse 4 And you fathers, do not provoke your children to wrath, but bring them up in the training and admonition of the Lord. And Colossians 3.21 Fathers, do not provoke your children, lest they become discouraged. Sirach, a Jewish document available in Paul's day, advises fathers about the treatment of their sons. It goes like this in verse 1, He who loves his son will whip him often. Pamper a child and he will terrorise you, in verse 9. Play with him and he will grieve you, and in verse 13. Discipline your son and make his yoke heavy, so that you may not be offended by his shamelessness. End of quote. Paul's counsel bears a very different tone. He first advises a negative command to fathers. Do not provoke your children to anger followed by a positive one. Bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord in verse 4 of Ephesians chapter 6. In Paul's day, fathers had complete legal power over their children, who were regarded as his property. Fathers had the right to inflict violent punishment, even death on their children. Indeed, in some respects, a father's power over his children exceeded a master's authority over his slaves. Paul is not endorsing such power, but is boldly clarifying and reshaping family relationships. In the context of a supreme loyalty to Christ, Paul invites Christian fathers to rethink their use of power since children who are provoked to anger will not be well positioned to accept, as it says in Ephesians 6.4, the discipline and instruction of the Lord. Fathers and mothers, Ellen White writes in Child Guidance, page 259, in the home you are to represent God's disposition. You are to require obedience, not with a storm of words, but in a kind, loving manner. Be pleasant in the home, Restrain every word that would arouse unholy temper. Fathers, provoke not your children to wrath is a divine injunction. No license is given in God's word for parental severity or oppression or for filial disobedience. The law of God in the home life and in the government of nations flows from a heart of infinite love. End of quote. And so to finish today. Though the context of the lesson here deals with parents and children, what principles can be taken from these texts that should impact how we should deal with all other people?